Okay, I am going to do a little more prep in this book. Um, I did this one, not on camera, but I just love the effect. I'm gonna just try and show it up close so you can see the um, effects. So what I did, um, besides the stenciling, I did put watercolor on this plastic and then you just pat it down and that's um, how you get an effect like this. Yeah, so I'm just kind of going through the book and doing the pages because I just want to use this later for doing some fun, um, just doing some journaling on. So time for another color, maybe some purple. I just love how this watercolor just kind of glides on. It's so nice, so soft and pretty. Just so cool. Just so cool. And I'm going to do a little bit of this. And I'm just gonna get it really wet, really wet here. I'll go ahead and get this really wet again in here, and this one too, because I want it a little wetter. And then I'm going to do what I had mentioned before about just taking, um, and pressing. This time I'm going to just use this napkin because I get a little bit of a pattern with it. There. I like that. can't get over how thin this paper is and yet it doesn't have any trouble taking watercolors and things like this you know um, the acrylics and the sprays and the stamping everything just I like it um, I'm gonna add some color in here now just a little bit nice and wet and just um, do a little just a little Okay, just brings another color in, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of yellow, kind of the same uh, principle, where you just put down the color and blotch it a little, though so this one needs a little help. <laughs> This one. Okay, let's go down here. Not worrying about kind of getting all the color of the paper at least covered however I want. Okay. 
All right, now I think um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a stamp. Dina Wakely was the stamps. I thought they were like temples, but fortunately somebody told me what they were. That was my other choice, but I just, I wasn't sure. And so um, I was kind of waiting to see what somebody else would say. If anybody would like correct it and say, oh, by the way, <laughs> um, let's see. these guys to be red. They're so adorable. Aren't they cute? Then if they go over, and they didn't go through, but if they had, I could have done something about it. So, that's why I wanted to be a little careful. And we're just gonna do like a tiny bit, you know, kind of that second generation stamping. And it gives a little bit to the thing. So there. It's actually kind of warm in this room today. with that and I think I want to do um, like I did with the other one and just do a little outlining again so I take these off and I'll do some outlining I just went over to the other page I think maybe not It's just a very messy outlining. I'm not trying to do it neatly. Um, I'm just trying to do like kind of scribbly lines. But then when I journal, this will look cool. Could have done this one better. So we'll go up on this one and this one this one and here okay yeah I like that and then I'm just going to do um, I think some dots I'm not very good at these little marks you know I've tried doing little marks before and they never look quite as nice um, I feel as other people who make marks on their papers <laughs> But you know what, I just try and whatever it looks like, it looks like. So I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just something different to do, you know. Okay, I like that. Alright, so there's another page. And I'm happy with that. That went over just a little bit, but um, not too much. And it didn't over here because I wasn't doing like super hard. So it actually turned out okay. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. Love the feel of it. So thank you for watching.